Now I have in the box my Walther PPQ Q5 match. And on this side, I have the Canic TP9 SFX. So this is not an unboxing video. It is just uh, a way to talk about these two handguns that are fairly similar. And there are videos out there that have compared the two. This is more of just giving my, my thoughts about the guns. So, as you all know, I've been shooting this Q5 match with a Taylor Freelance Magwell and a Vortex Venom, but I have removed both um, and would be shooting production on my next competition. And this Canic or Jeanic TP9 SFX um, this has two magazines included in it, a Mech Gar, which is an 18 plus 2 rounds. Um, there is the paddle, and it came with a holster, and these four plates to attach whichever optics you would like. Um, and since I have the Vortex Venom uh, 3M away, I will be using plate number one for it. And I am used to shooting the Q5 match. I really like the trigger on this handgun. Um, but then again, it's just a matter of getting used to and working on this Canic TP9 SFX. All right, so now let's talk about the grips for both guns. Um, I really like the ergonomics of this Q5 match. Um, as far as the feel for the back strap, I actually have the smaller size, the smallest size of the three um, to fit my really small hands. Um, but it's not just about the hand grips. I like how the mag release is not too big, but then again, with the TP9 SFX, you could replace it with a smaller uh, button for it, and I can uh, do that um, given the time. I also like the slide stop or the slide release. Um, just because of how it feels um, in comparison to the Canic. So this one's empty. For some reason, this one right here is a little bit too big. Like I said, it, you could replace it with a smaller button. Um, and then for the slide release and the slide stop, I think um, the Q5 match is even better. I have shot um, both guns in the range. And I have to say, I need to get used to on using the Canic um, as far as being able to get my shots in a better grouping. But both guns shoot really well and the trigger is really great. So here we go, here's the reset right there. And for the Q5, and for the Q5, reset is over here. We'll do that again. Right there. Almost pretty close as far as uh, how the trigger feels. Um, both guns, you could um, 
disassemble them similar to a Glock. So you just pull it back, release, and then it slides forward just like that. As far as the holster that came with the Canik, um, I'm not sure yet if I want to use this for competition, but for now, I think it will just do its purpose and that's how much retention it has but then i believe you can make the necessary adjustments as well so this is one of the metgar magazines that was included uh, it has two mags um, this one is an 18 plus 2 just like that but I've yet to see how well it would release this one looks like it's going down pretty well pretty fast test the other one so this one is the second magazine So I'm just going to test how it releases. This one kind of locks and stays. It doesn't really pop out. So here's the two side by side. We have the Q5 match and the Canic. Both guns are pretty similar as far as kind of like the design both guns have been cleared in safety which I've done just a few minutes ago let's watch a couple of the shots that I've done with the Canik
Now I'm in the process of installing my Vortex Venom onto this Canic uh, TP9 SFX. And um, so the plate that you will be using is plate number one. Um, right there. Um, so I will show you the final results as soon as I finish installing the Venom on this mounting plate. All right, so now I already have the Vortex Venom installed. I've also installed the metal rod that you could screw into the optic plate. The side of it, you can decide whether you want it on your right side or left side. Now, since I am a right-handed shooter, I'm gonna keep my right hand on the grip and then install this on my left side, that way my left hand pull it back if needed in case there's a misfeed and I could just slide it back like that.